If you are a teacher, you already know that there are students who are going to misbehave in your classroom. Just call it a rite of passage. But if you are not prepared for the behaviors, your classroom can suddenly be a very stressful place to be. In today's video, we're going to talk about the four reasons why your behavior and classroom management may be failing. Classroom and behavior management struggles are never easy, especially when your attempts at managing student behaviors are not bringing you any success. So that's why I'm going to share with you four reasons why your behavior and classroom management may be failing. Reason number one, you don't have a what if list in place. So what is a what if list? A what if list is a list that tells you what to do and how to respond when it comes to a specific student behavior. You can actually create this list for negative and positive behaviors. This list is essentially your blueprint on how to handle a variety of behaviors in your classroom. Your what if list is a great tool for two reasons. First, it makes you think about and choose your responses and consequences ahead of time so that you don't have to problem solve on the spot. The other reason is it reduces your frustration because you are rarely caught off guard. You are prepared for what's next and that helps you feel empowered and in control of the situation. So how does a what if list work? First, you wanna think about some what if examples that may happen in your classroom. For example, what if a student throws something in anger like a book or a pencil? What if your students start arguing and disrupt your class lesson? What if your student walks out of the classroom without permission? Do you have a response or a consequence prepared ahead of time that you can use in each situation? If so, put it on your what if list. If not, start brainstorming some options that you can use right away. When I started doing this, I became quickly aware of some missing pieces that were in my classroom and behavior management. I made sure to brainstorm some ideas and strategies and put those in place as soon as possible. On one hand, you may never see these behaviors that I've talked about, and if that's so, it's always good to be prepared. On the other hand, you may see these behaviors every single day, and that's why the What If List is such a powerful tool. After the video, check in the description below for a link to the free What If planning sheet. Reason number two. You don't know what behavior to focus on, so you end up focusing on everything. Focusing on multiple behaviors can be very overwhelming and bring confusion into your classroom. If you are dealing with a student who demonstrates multiple behaviors, narrow down your focus. Take a moment, make a list of the various behaviors you're observing, and narrow it down to just two. Focusing only on those two behaviors does not mean that you ignore the other behaviors. It really depends on the other types of behaviors your students are displaying but narrowing down your focus and putting the majority of your efforts on those two behaviors helps you to make more progress in reducing and putting an end to those challenging student behaviors. Reason number three, you let the other parts of your job take over. Unless you're a teacher or you've been married to one, you really don't know all of the moving parts that comes with being a teacher. There are a lot of demands that comes from numerous places, your administration, your district, your parents, and of course, your students. And it's easy to be overwhelmed by all of it. Next thing you know, your behavior and classroom management moves to the bottom of the list until another major incident happens to grab your attention. Behaviors go unchecked for a while, and by the time you move it back to the priority of your list, you have to start over. I have found that behavior and classroom management always stays on the top three things that I focus on as a teacher. If something has to fall to the wayside, behavior and classroom management will not be one of them. Remember, there is no way you can teach effectively if you are constantly addressing student misbehaviors. Reason number four, you're struggling with your confidence. 
One of my coaching clients shared with me her feelings of inadequacy when dealing with student behaviors. The behaviors in her classroom were getting worse and worse every week and she just didn't know what to do. She began to feel discouraged and she felt like she just didn't have what it took to manage these overwhelming student behaviors. And after 10 years of teaching, she was considering leaving the profession. Unfortunately, this is not a surprise and it's not uncommon. The worst part is that your lack of confidence begins to spill into interactions with your students. You become short-tempered. You end up yelling more often. And then you begin calling the office for assistance on a regular basis. Here's what I want to share with you. You are not alone. You can transform your classroom with the right support and the right strategies. The ability to continue to make a difference in the midst of challenging behaviors is within you. This is why I started working with teachers and schools in the area of classroom and behavior management. Because so many teachers were struggling and beginning to lose their confidence in the ability to manage student behaviors. You can do it. You can manage these behaviors. You just need some help in this part of your teacher journey. So if you are struggling with one or all of the four reasons I mentioned in today's video, leave your comments below. I would love to share some classroom and behavior management tips with you. Don't forget to check in the description box for your free what if planner sheet. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos just like this. See you next week for another video. Ooh.